Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our spaces with smiles on our faces. And this is the way to start our new day. Good morning, boys and girls. Thought we'd say good morning in a different way today. Do you remember our collage we have on the wall? We sure do miss you guys. Look at those adorable smiling faces, playing outside, having fun. I hope you're having a good day. Do you remember all these spots, all these times when we were at school? Good morning. Good morning, boys and girls. It's our circle time. I wish, I wish you were sitting on your carpet squares right now so we could say good morning to you. But we'll do it this way for now. Good morning, Gus. Good morning, Hazel. Good morning, Theo. Good morning, Nadia. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, Ari. Good morning, Corbin. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Louie. Good morning, McKenna. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Campbell. Good morning, Tegan. Good morning, Grady. Good morning, Lana. Good morning, Jonah. Good morning, Kerrigan. Good morning, Cooper. Good morning, Bracken. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Jasper. Good morning, Hutton. And good morning, Kaliel. Hi, boys and girls. Last week we did uh, good morning and I showed it to you in sign language, which was good morning. So I thought every day we would do good morning in a different language. So today I thought we would do Spanish. So buenos dias is good morning in Spanish. Give it a try. Good morning, buenos dias. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Domingo and there's Lunes, there's Martes and Miercoles, there's Jueves and Viernes, and then there's Sabado. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. What day is today? I'll give you a clue. If yesterday was Monday, what comes after Monday? or after lunes. You are right. Hoy es martes. Hoy es martes. And martes is Tuesday. Very good. And if today is Tuesday, what was yesterday? I already gave you a hint. Yesterday? Ayer es lunes, correct. Ayer es lunes, and lunes is Monday. And if today is Tuesday, what will tomorrow be? Think about it, what comes after Tuesday? Mañana es miércoles. Mañana es miércoles, and what is miércoles in, in English is? Wednesday, you got it, good job. 
And on to the weather. Oh my goodness, what is the weather like outside today? I'm still waiting for spring. I'm waiting for that warm weather. So what's it like out? Sunny, cloudy, rainy, cold, warm. Let us know. See ya. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you had a good morning. Okay, our question of the day today is, what are animals called who only eat plants? What are the animals called that only eat plants so they don't eat any meat? What are they called? Are they herbivores or are they carnivores? So what are animals called that only eat plants? Herbivores or carnivores? You think about it when you have the answer. Let me know what you think it is. Okay. Our craft today is going to be paper chain snakes. We're going to make paper chain snakes. So what you'll need for this craft is a pair of scissors, some construction paper that you are going to cut into strips. And you're going to need a couple colors. So you pick how many colors you're going to need. I today picked three colors. If it's green, blue, I mean, yeah, green, blue, and purple. So you pick however many colors that you'd like and then you cut them into strips about this wide. If you don't have colored construction paper, you can color white paper instead too. So, you also will need some glue, some googly eyes, and if you don't have googly eyes, you can just use black marker for the eyes. A piece of red construction paper for the snake's tongue, and either tape or a stapler, however you want to put the rings together, or glue. You can use glue too, but that might get a little messy. You can use glue too. All right. So the first thing we are going to do is create a pattern for our snake. So using all three of your colors, which for me, I have purple, green, and blue, you are going to create a pattern. So my pattern is going to be purple, purple, green, Blue, blue. Purple, purple, green, blue, blue. And then I'm going to repeat the pattern again. So it will be, what comes after blue? Purple, purple, green, blue, blue. And I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going to do it three times all together. Purple, purple, green, blue, blue is going to be the color of my snake. I'm trying to get to see if it's a little better. So one more time, I have to do purple, purple, green, blue, blue. Once you have all of your papers lined up, now it's time to string them together. So. With your very first color, you're going to take the paper, fold it into a circle, and I am going to choose tape. Take a little piece of tape and tape it, tape the two ends together. Once you have the two ends taped together, take the next color in your pattern, and mine is purple again, because my pattern is purple, purple, green, blue, blue. You string it inside the other circle that you made, and you tape that one together. See, I'm slowly making a chain. Then I'll take my green. And a blue. And another blue. So that finished one round of my pattern. Purple, purple, green, blue, blue. 
So I'm going to start again with purple. Another purple. Green. And so on and so forth. So you keep doing this until you get all of your colors finished. You can do it as big or as small as you like. I'm going to show you another one that I did that is finished. It's super duper long. You can't even see how long it is inside the camera. But my pattern was blue, blue, pink, yellow. Blue, blue, pink, yellow. So once you have all of your circles taped together, now is the time to make the face. So you pick which end you'd like to use, whether it's the, the first one you did or the last one you did. And you're going to put two dots of glue for the eyes, and if you don't have googly eyes, you can either cut out little black circles or whatever color you'd like, or you can just draw with marker of the eye. I am going to pick some googly eyes, because we have them here at school. So there are my eyes. And then, I'm going to cut out the tongue. So, for the tongue, I am going to draw the shape on my red piece of construction paper. And then I'm going to cut it out. And then, when I'm finished cutting out my tongue, I'm going to glue it on right underneath my eyes. Just like that. Ta-da! And this one's wet, so I don't want it to come apart, but I will show you this finished product. Here is my snake and here is his face. And you can string them all together like this so he's coiled up like that. Ta-da! Send me pictures of your snakes, boys and girls. Have a good day.